bed and all you want to do is get your head down, you've actually got to make your bed. It's a ball ache. Put the lotion in the basket. Oh. Hey, give us a minute. It's better. Right. I'm Russ McDonough, aka The Nomadic Veteran, and welcome to Van Life 101. Essentially, I'm gonna try and give you tips, tricks, and hacks on how to make your van life experience easier and better. To make it a little bit more fun, we do it in one minute 41, or 101 seconds, bless your hoochie. Right, if you hadn't a guess, this week, it's about the bed. Now I'm gonna talk about the fold-out bed, which we had in our previous van, compared to this fixed bed, which we've got in the current van. So, without further ado, one minute 41 on the clock, Let's go. Right, the negatives on a, on a fold-out bed. You have to make it every single day. So in the morning when you're refreshed, it's not too bad, break the bed down. At night when you're tired and all you want to do is get your head down, you've actually got to make your bed. It's a ball ache. Yes, you could just leave it out during the day, but who really wants to do that? Because you're defeating the object of having a sofa area and a bed area. Um, the other point, the disadvantage of that is the storage. So you've got all this bedding when you've got your sofa area out during the day. Where do you keep the storage? takes up space, right? However, there are a couple of advantages. Because you've got a dedicated sofa area during the day and then a nighttime area bed, uh, that means you've got more space in the van for other things. In our last van, that meant we were able to have a bathroom and a wardrobe, which was brilliant for us, actually. Another advantage is if you haven't got uh, swivel chairs at the front of the van, you can have them in the back, which means you've got a nice dining table, which means you can actually have a meal facing each other, which is pretty cool. However, moving on to the fixed bed. This advantage of the fixed bed. If you've got dogs and they get wet or they get sandy, your admin's got to be on the ball from stopping them from actually getting onto the bed and making your bed dirty. Another uh, disadvantage would be, because this air isn't circulating underneath the mattress, you can get mould. Obviously there are things you can do to prevent that, flipping your mattress over, giving it a good airing and all that good stuff. However, it's something to be aware of. Advantages, we love the fixed bed. One advantage is, there's less admin. I don't have to mess around at night making the bed. Um, another advantage would be it actually allows to have a bed area and a sofa area all at the same time. So, for example, if one of us is ill, wants to stay in bed all day, they can, while the other person can still have somewhere to sit down. Or, if someone's an early riser, they can get up and crack on and work. I've got five seconds. Last one would be a bigger garage. So, essentially, by having your bed higher, that's time. I'll finish because I started. Because you've got your bed higher, it means you can have a really big garage and you can store all your sporting kit, more clothes, all that good stuff, all right? Um, especially motorhomes, they utilize as much space as possible. So, that's a massive advantage, in my opinion. Anyway. That is that. I'll finish up now. Oh, in fact, before I go, if you want to see the old type of bed, we did a van tour on it a little while ago in our old van. I'll put the link for that up above. If you want to see the van tour of our new van, guess what? I'll put the link for that up above. Usual admin. If you enjoyed this video, thumbs up, please. If you want to leave a comment, and your comment can be maybe disadvantages or advantages I haven't mentioned, uh, maybe there's alternatives out there which we haven't considered, um, or even what you'd like to see in Van Life 101 next week. Let me know. If you want to share the video, share it far and wide please. It definitely helps our channel and it'd be much appreciated. And lastly, subscribe already. And not only subscribe, bring the little bell up top there. That means you get notified when we drop videos so you get to enjoy them, obviously. Right, I'll leave you with this. Get busy living or get busy dying. Laters. Let's make it proper cozy. Should we get proper cozy? Are you sleeping like that, Hootie? Are you filming? Yeah. Oh, not sneezing. Where are you going? You're gonna you're gonna settle down. <laughs>